Facebook and Google talk to each other? What's up guys, Jason here, Spying Entrepreneur, and in this video, we are gonna walk through how to add the Facebook pixel to your website using Google Tag Manager. Now, there are two ways you can do this. You can do this the manual way, just going through Google Tag Manager and pulling the pixel from Facebook, or you can go through Facebook's inference and they have finally broken down their wall against Google and allowed you to do it through the ad inference as well. So we're gonna go through both methods in this video. So without further ado, we're gonna dive into my screen and I'll also talk about why it's so important to use Google Tag Manager when you're implementing your Facebook Pixel because it's gonna save you a boatload of time as you grow and scale your business. And then when you fire, finally hire, hopefully hire some analytics geek like myself, we will just thank you so much for not having to go do all of this over again for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead, dive in and start tracking. Okay, so we'll kick things off with being inside your Google Tag Manager account. If you haven't already set up your Tag Manager account, check out the link in the description to a tutorial that walks you through all of that fun process. Here we're gonna click on our container name or you can go up here to settings and create a new container for the website that you're working on. I'm going to click on this blurred out website right here. And so, like I mentioned in the beginning, there are two different ways we can set up the Tag Manager, the easy way and the hard way. So the hard way is we would click on new tag right here and then we click tag configuration and we'd come over here to custom HTML. And then we'd go over to Facebook and we'd co physically copy and paste the Facebook pixel and we put all of the pixel code right in here. So let's just say pixel code is here, right? Okay. And then we'd go ahead and come down to triggering and under triggering, we'd click all pages, right? We're not doing conversion tracking here. We're just doing remarketing. We want this on every single page. The channel will have a different video talking about conversion tracking, event tracking, you know, triggers, all that fun stuff. But right here, this is all you'll need. So I'm going to leave this up because we're going to go over to Facebook now and go into our ads account. So in your ads account, you're going to come up here and click on settings. And then you're going to come over here to pixels. And this is where you're going to get to set up your pixel. Now, when you first, if you haven't set up your pixel yet, you're not going to have this because your pixel's not set up yet. There's going to be a giant green button that looks like this screenshot that will say, hey, it's time for you to set up your pixel. So we're going to go ahead and click set up pixel up here at the top. And once you do, these, these are your two options. So this top way is the easy way. The bottom way is the hard way. So the hard way, we're going to click it and it's going to give us all of this code, right? So we're going to click to copy that code. And this is where you would put the code. So instead of this silly little thing I typed, we are going to paste the Facebook tracking code here. And so this tracking, this is all you would need to manually add the tracking code to Google Tag Manager. You'd come up here and click save. You would probably want to call it Facebook pixel and then underscore uh, remarketing or, you know, all or base, right? Essentially saying this is the remarketing pixel, this is the base pixel, because as you add more pixel, add additional elements to your site, you're going to actually add additional Facebook pixels based upon individual pages. And of course, when you do that, your page trigger won't be all pages, it will be a specific page. So we're gonna go ahead and click save, FB, FB pixel base, and we'll click save. So I'm saving it in here. And then of course, as always, you probably want to go preview your website to make sure that it's actually running. You can click this preview button and then go to your website and in Chrome, by the way, you need to be using Chrome, and it will show you whether or not the Facebook Pixel is firing correctly. Again, in the complete Google Tag Manager tutorial, I go through all that. Here, we're just going super, super fast. And after you previewed, made sure it's all work, you could go ahead and hit submit. So that is the long way to do it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the easy way. The do, 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 we're gonna go back now and we're going to use an integration or tag manager. Google Tag Manager and then quick install. Manual install is pretty much exactly what we just did. So I'm gonna hit quick install. It's going to pull up all of your you know, Google accounts. You choose the one that 
you're currently working on. So here you'll select your account. So you go ahead and select your account. Then you'll go ahead and select your container ID or your website that you're doing this for. And then you'll go ahead and just have the base code. When you're doing some more fun advanced stuff, you can click add tag. And this is where you get your event tracking, conversion tracking in. Right now we're not doing that. And then we'll just go ahead and click next. And then we can click publish. And once you hit publish, it is automatically going to send all that needed information straight to your tag manager. And then you can go ahead and go to your website and check to make sure the pixel is installed correctly. That is literally all there is to it to the easy way. It's super, super easy and basic now that you don't actually have to go through that manual process that we first went through. So I definitely recommend going through this process first. And of course, when you're done, you'll go ahead and hit publish and you will be good to go. Your Facebook pixel will be on your website with Google Tag Manager. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video actionable and informative. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe because over on my YouTube channel, I'm doing a ton of tutorials like this one, essentially showing you everything you need to know to put together your analytics, track what's going on in your website, and of course, drive more traffic to your website because the channel is all about building a business from scratch. And although this might not be the most glamorous part, it is necessary because we all need to be tracking our stats and figuring out what's working and what's not. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you have any questions, go ahead, drop them in the comments below. I read and answer every single one of them. And until the next video, like, subscribe, and keep building the business you love. Take care.